Hi, this is Chip Wood. In preview, you can take two or more images of different file sizes and different cropping and connect them to create a single image in a vertical stack that can be scrolled through for use on your blog or any social media site. Now, since we're going to stack them vertically, we need to start with the image that is the tallest, the one with the greatest height. And that's the middle one here. Click on the icon in the upper left and scroll to the thumbnail view. Click on the thumbnail and copy it. Command C. Now go to Tools and scroll to Adjust Size. Should be using inches. Unlock. We're going to keep the width, but since we're going to add two more images below this one, we're going to change the height to three times its current value. If you had two photos, you'd double the height. If you had four photos, you'd multiply it by four, and so on. Right now, it's at 45, so we'll multiply that by three photos and change it to 135. This is going to create a really funny looking stretched version of the original image. Remember when we copied the thumbnail? Now we're going to paste it in this area at the top of the stretched image. That's Command V. You can still see the stretched image here below the one we just pasted in. Click on the pasted image to bring up the adjustment handles and move it to the top and center it. Let's move this to the side. And shift select the two remaining picks and hit Command O to open them. Click on the second image and copy it. Go back to your stretched image and click just below the first image that you pasted in and paste the second image. Click on it to bring up the adjustment handles and move it into position just below the first image. Now click on the thumbnail of the third image and copy it. And here you'll do the same thing. Paste it below image two. Click on the image, grab the adjustment handles, and position it. Now let's collapse the image two and three window. We'll bring this over, resize it. Image two wasn't quite lined up, so we'll fix that. Click outside the images, and as you scroll up and down, you can see that you now have a single image comprised of the three that still retains the resolution and quality of the originals. However, you'll see that we have some of that stretched photo left over here at the bottom. And now we're going to crop that out. Let's zoom out a little, Command minus. Scroll to the top of the image and position the crosshairs at the upper top left of the first photo. Drag that cursor all the way down to the lower right corner of the last photograph. You'll find the crop function in the toolbar, or you can just hit Command K. And that eliminates the leftover stretched photograph at the bottom. Now go to File, Export, and this will bring up a pane. It may say PNG. If it is, change it to JPEG. Look at your quality. This is a good size at 3.8 megabytes. Give the file a name. And hit Save. Now collapse this window and open the new JPEG that has appeared on your desktop. The gray area that you see on both sides of the new image is transparent and will not appear when you upload this new image to the site of your choosing. 